Hi, everyone. Welcome to Mile High Huddle. I am Kim Becker, and joining me is publisher Chad Jensen. And Chad, we've got KJ Hamler and Baron Browning with some injuries during this new round of OTAs. What do you know about these guys? Well, it's a little bit concerning because KJ Hamler basically arrived in Denver a little bit nicked up last year as a second round pick, nursing a pretty serious hamstring, ended up tweaking it multiple times during uh, training camp. And then it kind of just nagged him throughout the season. He ended up finding a way to make an impact, but it was probably a lot smaller of an impact that it would have otherwise been hamstring tweaked again. And so as the Broncos started off another round of OTAs on Monday, Hamler was sidelined. And again, it's the hamstring and Browning suffered a little uh, lower leg injury. So he's sidelined, but it's no big deal for both of them. According to the team, it's precautionary to quote Vic Fangio, the head coach. He said on Monday, quote, KJ tweaked his hamstring. So we're being cautious with that. Browning has the same injury he sustained in the rookie minicamp. He'll be out the rest of this week too. Close quote. So it's more about the Broncos. You know, it's just OTAs. So they're out there kind of getting the visual reps, the mental reps. But with Hamler in particular, it's something to monitor, Kim, because he's kind of been injury prone since landing in Denver. I hate to use that label to describe such a young, talented, you know, dynamic player with as much potential as he has. But it is something to keep an eye on. Well, I mean, like you said, we've got a little bit of time to be cautious with these injuries. But as we know, time flies. So hopefully it's something that can can get back to normal here soon. That's right. Whether it's Drew Locke, whether it's Teddy Bridgewater, they're going to need that. What is it? Four three is the rumor. Four two, four three speed. So yeah, we'll see. Crazy. All right, Chad. Thanks so much.